Professor, welcome to the University of Baltimore. Um, could you please introduce yourself to our students? Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for, to Professor Shadows in particular. My name is Cesare Pintea. I'm a researcher, fellow researcher, and a professor of international law at the University of Parma in Italy. I started this career some years ago. I started studying in Italy. Then I took the Netherlands in England and PhD back in Italy. This is more or less my background. And I always focused on public international law in my studies before and research afterwards. Uh, what did you talk about uh, just now today? Could you summarize that for our students? I, I talked about a quite interesting and complex issue, which is how international law is uh, delivered, I would say, to uh, into the domestic legal system through uh, uh, the law of the European Union. So it's a new way of looking at an old problem, which is uh, incorporation of international law into domestic law. And uh, this has quite several uh, interesting aspects uh, relating to uh, the issue whether I would say EU law is can be can be considered uh, friendly to international law I mean and by this I mean um, a way or a means through which international law uh, is made more effective into domestic legal systems or uh, an obstacle for the implementation at the national level of international law when conflicts with fundamental values of the European Union. Okay. So, what do you think the role of uh, uh, the European Union should be with regards uh, to applying international law? The conclusion of my of my presentation was that um, I think that basically the role of the European Union, and especially of the European Court of Justice, should be not so much that of uh, uh, building a coherent system of uh, norms to regulate the relationships between European law and international law, but rather to promote the rule of law and uh, especially respect for uh, fundamental rights. So in this perspective, uh, it can, the European Union can act as, uh, as a door opener for international law when international law promotes its values or as a gatekeeper when, as it unfortunately happens sometimes, uh, international laws seem to be uh, a threat to those same values. Great. Um, could, do you have any other special message for U.S. or any message in general for U.S. law students that you would like to deliver to our Armenian? As a, this is a difficult task, but uh, what I would like to say is that as much as for European students, uh, being open to uh, to operate professionally in a globalized world is important. This is important also for U.S. Uh, law students and future law professionals. So my suggestion is uh, to open up your knowledge to different uh, legal traditions, different way of thinking about the law, uh, because this will make you better lawyers, also in the United States. Thank you very much. Thank you.